The group Patriotic Europeans Against the Islamization of the West, better known as Pegida, the blatantly racist European movement that unites political conservatives, anti-immigration activists, and neo-Nazis under the common goal of stopping a perceived rising tide of Islamic fundamentalism, has spread from its home in Dresden, Germany, to North America. Its North American grand opening rally will start in Montreal's Petit Maghreb, home to a number of the city's North African, mostly Muslim, business and residents. From there, it will head south with a planned stop outside the Islamic centers run by Adil Charkoi, a man formerly accused of being a sleeper agent for Al-Qaeda. With more than 20,000 members worldwide, the group not only makes Germany look bad, but everyone living in the West and is doing nothing to help the rise in extremism and hatred of the West. Jose, uh, what do you say? A bunch of neo-Nazis or, you know, friendly, blonde hair, blue-eyed white people who are scared of Muslims ruining their pure, beautiful culture? I say a bunch of racist clowns. That's what they are. I will have to agree. It's sad to see that today, uh, where we need unity more than anything, we still have to witness these groups that are spewing hate. And maybe we should take a look at the picture of their founder, Lutz Bachmann, a uh, clown that became really famous when his picture of the reincarnation of Hitler became viral. Lutz claims that he's not racist, just for the record. I'll have to debate that. Well, yeah, I just want to let you know. You know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, the story is that he, he's the founder of this group. He had to step down from the leadership recently uh, in January this year because he actually did some Facebook posts mm -hmm. that contain specific words that are considered hate speech in Germany. So he was facing charges, he got off easy, he had to leave the leadership. But this goes to show that the reality is that this group is considered just a bunch of soccer hooligans, a few politicians from the far right, and a lot of people, citizens, regular citizens, that are being influenced by this hate speech. I like to think that there is a reason to it because there might be still small, very minimal communities that are still trying to be attached to that dark past of Nazi culture that was born in Germany. Which, which is a little surprising because Germany nowadays prides itself on being very progressive, very exactly. liberal, probably one of the most in the country, uh, given that darker history. Um, as far as this North American franchise of Pegida, mm -hmm. uh, Jean-Francois Asgard, Asgard, however you want to pronounce it, uh, he's one of four people who launched Pegida in Quebec. He, this is what he had to say when asked about it. This might give us a little insight as to how they kind of see things and why they don't think they're racist, even though they're completely against Islam. This is what he had to say. He said, the incompatibility of Islam with the West is flagrant, and that's the reason that Pegida and the Western patriots are rising up. It's not just to counter Islam, but to say that if Islam doesn't reform itself, Islam needs to get out of the West. If Islam does not reform itself, it needs to get out of the West. This is, you know, this reminds me of when Obama was addressing the country mm -hmm. not long ago uh, in regards to terrorism in the world, extremism, and people going off to fight in Syria. He made it a point that he was not going to mention Muslims at all as, as a religion, as a people. He was going to only focus on the terrorists and the extremists and ISIS separately because essentially they do not at all represent the Muslim faith at all, or nor what the Quran says at all. So, you know, then you have people like this, uh, and even Republicans too, were, were giving Obama shit for saying like, oh, how can you not call them Muslims? They're obviously Muslims. It's one and the same, but it's different. And these people are just fueling the, 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 the fire. And I think that you are touching upon a very critical point of the whole situation. That is, we are seeing these Western influence that is creating the conditions for Muslims to feel rejected, right. for Muslims to feel alone, and then start paying attention to these messages and this narrative from ISIS and from other terrorist groups where they say, you know what, we care, we understand you, come here, fight with us, because it's obviously that the West don't don't want you. Right, and it turns into this vicious cycle. You got exactly. ISIS, you got the West hating ISIS, you got ISIS hating them for hating us, then they hating, it's it just never ending. And it's, and it's funny that this is happening in Quebec that has strong ties with France, where we saw already a spike on anti-Muslim sentiment. We just saw the Charlie Hebdo massacre mm -hmm. that is poor all this sentiment. And actually, Pegida was prevented from carrying on big protest 
using this massacre to their political advantage, which seems so low and so opportunistic, and I'm glad that it didn't happen, but it shows that this group is just a bunch of clowns trying to make some steer in the media and get some recognition, but it's surprising that it's getting any traction here in, in North America, Especially because in Canada. in Canada, people, they are, you know, calm and they don't get themselves involved in controversy, and now we're seeing that they are actually rallying around a very poor concept of isolation and rejection of a faith that it's already here because it's been the Arab culture has been around for thousands of years. Islam has been around since 600 or 500. Uh, it's time for us to understand that we have to work together, that we right. have to understand each other. And the more we learn from these other cultures, the easier it's going to be for all of us, for all, for all of us to good live point. together. Very good point. Uh, of course, though, we'd love to know what you guys think. Is it surprising that you see a group like Pegida uh, gaining traction in Canada? And could it possibly spread throughout all of North America? I certainly hope not. Let us know what you guys think by commenting. And of course, of course if you haven't done so, subscribe to the Lip TV for more.